So when Google Bard first was launched many months ago, it sort of was an embarrassing moment for Google. But my, have how things have changed. So Bard is now a major, major contender in the leading generative AI model market. There's been so many updates and functions. I want to, I've been meaning to do this video for some time. I'm going to try to get through all of it. Uh, it's going to be a basic walkthrough, but I invite you all uh, to experiment with it. If you're a Google user, you got Gmail, you use Workspace, you have access to BARD. Okay. So let's just go to a couple of things first. When, we, when you're here in the chat, I want you to go up here and click on extensions. Okay. Now you'll see that if you turn this on, a lot of this stuff is about travel up here. But there's a, there's a key one down here, Google Workspace. This will connect and make BARD operable directly in your Gmail, your G Drive, your Docs, your Google Sheets. Okay, so you get this. It's going to say BARD's going to access this. It's worth it, trust me. Make sure you your YouTube is on too. There's some really cool functions with that. All right, um, let's go back to this. Oh, actually, let me show you some more settings up here. Yes, you can use dark mode. Um, respond once complete just means basically uh, that when it does its thinking, it will respond for you um, instead of like showing you it's going to be responding. And your public links, I'll show you that in a second. This is all your BARD activity. So all of your previous uh, prompts and exchanges is all right there for you, which is really, really helpful. And I think that's pretty much it. All right. So um, some things down here. Watch this. Um, use the microphone. Uh, I'll think of a, a prompt here. And uh, let's see. Oh, I got to allow it. What's a good prompt to get me very productive first thing in the morning when I have a bunch of to do's, a bunch of emails to go through, and I just want to really chart my day? Okay, I don't really care what it's going to come up with here. I just wanted to show you the functionality um, that you can basically use this, use the microphone and talk directly to your computer and you should be good to go. All right, uh, what else can I show you? Um, Auto-generated prompts. I'm just looking at my note list here. I went through this. When you're here, you can sort of see this. This is already auto-generated responses. So if we click on like product description, it's basically pre-populating this with a great prompt. You're basically just going to sort of change out the, uh, the product here. So this says toothbrush. Maybe I want to say AI toy for tots. Who knows? Um, the key thing here is I don't really care about this, but this shows you sort of different ideas of how to construct prompts. Notice that there's a persona in here. You are a professional copywriter skill. It's talking about what they want in the background and how to do it. Explore puns, rhymes, cool acronyms, and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, you can also look for something nearby. Show me grocery stores clear, uh, close to the entrance of Grand, Grand Teton. You know, I might do something because I travel off the time. I'm often looking for organic or clean food. So I'll use this wherever I am and it'll be near my hotel or where my workspace is in that city and all that, and I'll pull it up. So let's just show you what this looks like. That little icon was gonna show you that it's using Google Maps to figure this out. Now, yes, you could use Google Maps, but this is a lot more intuitive um, to basically get this information in a much easier to digest way. Um, and even give you some ideas for snacks to bring hiking and then it shows you the map. Just just really, really useful stuff here. One thing I want you to do here is just uh, ask it, what um, model are you currently, currently powered by? Why I want you to do this, I just wanna make sure that your version, wherever you are, depending on in the world you are, um, you are getting uh, the latest. Now, this is interesting. This is showing that I am getting Palm 2. This is not Gemini Pro, which is really interesting. This might be a hallucination, 
or it might be real. Let me just test this out. <laughs> Interesting. So I did prompt it, why are you not running Gemini Pro? And it said, oh, I'm sorry, you're right. So remember, as good as these models are, they still absolutely hallucinate. Now, should I believe it that it's actually running Gemini Pro because it said Palm 2? I don't know. So let me go down here, see this little button, this little Google icon. This is really interesting. This is the only leading model that has this functionality on a single click. What it's doing, it's going to search Google and it's evaluating this statement to basically say whether it's true or false. Now, interesting, it said no results found. Um, man, this is really uh, turning out to be poor. Let me try something else. Okay, so I went back to the original one. I did the same thing and now there's results. So it noticed this. It noticed how this is highlighted in green. Uh, where'd it go? Understand these results. So basically anything highlighted in green means that it's found content similar to that statement, meaning it's verifiable. And if it's highlighted in orange or yellow, it's saying it's likely different from the statement. So there might be incorrect information there. Now, I still don't know what model this is actually running. Let me try to figure that out. Okay, so I had to work through some iterative prompts here to actually get confident I'm on Gemini Pro. And I totally messed up this. I said, how do I know it's supposed to be no for certain which model you are running since you gave me two different answers. So I said, well, I can ask directly, ask me directly, which model are you currently running? Well, I did. And now it gave me as of this time and date, it's running Gemini Pro model. So that gives me some good information to go on. Um, up here, it did not give me any of that. And my, my prompt was slightly different and prompts matter. So my guess, and I'm confident that I'm actually running Gemini Pro. It gave me a date and timestamp, so we are good to go there. So I want to show you another feature. I'm going back to that first prompt about getting productive in the morning. Notice here, view other drafts. Okay, if I click on this, I've got three other drafts that I can review. If the first one doesn't look good to me, then I can look at this one or look at that one. Very useful. It creates three draft responses or three responses to your prompt every time. So very, very helpful there. Another great thing about this, is if you go down here and you click these little bars, this is going to be modify a response. On this response, I can make it simpler, shorter, longer, more casual, or more professional. Um, let's make it longer. So yes, you can, in other models, you can prompt this, but how great just to have a single click um, at the ready to basically help you decide if you want it shorter, longer, more professional, more casual, and all that. Okay, let's have some fun with YouTube. Um, so I'm gonna say, find me the top five videos that give pragmatic tips on a morning productivity. Sorry if I'm typing live and screwing it up. Routine to set my full day up right. Okay, so this should automatically go to YouTube and pull these up. You can see it's working on YouTube right now. And here are some of the top videos. It breaks them down, gives them the direct, you know, the direct click throughs, if you will. So here I'm just going to say recap the first one and give me the top tip, top tips or routine or routines and easy to follow bullets. So it's basically going to look into that first video that it shared and basically just give me a recap on it and break it down. Yes, I could watch it. Yes, I could read the transcript. What? But why not have um, Bard do it for me? By the way, if I didn't like this one, I can mad it, you know, reprompt it right here and just say, actually, I need one for working professionals. This one's a little too basic, and it would do the same thing. Okay, now let's have fun with Gmail and Google Workspace. I'm basically just going to ask it, how many emails have I gotten so far today? Uh, I have no idea. I get a bunch, and I delete hundreds every day. So um, while it's doing that, can you tell me how many I deleted. I 
I have no idea if it knows how many I deleted. Okay, and then I'm gonna ask. Okay, so it does not allow me to retrieve that I have um, deleted. Yeah, so it doesn't do it. All right, so I'm gonna come up with another prompt. So it's the holidays and I wanna know in my emails, are there any urgent or any emails that demand an action or response in the next 10 days? Maybe I'm gonna be taking some time off. I wanna be sort of do a digital detox, but I don't wanna miss anything. So I'm gonna have it read my emails and find out. And there we go. Now these are um, blurred out, but you can uh, see that it comes up with one. I'm reading them. I'm not gonna let you read them obviously, uh, but it actually identifies some key things I need to follow up on. So very helpful. I mean. Think about this in terms of getting the inbox zero or just manage your inbox. Truly, truly powerful. You can't do this in Gmail right now. So connecting Gmail to your BARD is truly, truly awesome. So now let's go to Google Docs and just say, hey, what was the latest doc that I created in Google Docs? And there you go, it shows it to me. So. Very, very powerful things here in Google Bard. I highly recommend you go into it. You make sure that you understand what model it's running because Gemini Pro blows the doors off of Palm 2. Connect it to your Google Workspace and play. There's so much here. And I won't do it in this video, but you can compare and contrast. I've got GPT-4 OpenAI's Plus subscription. I've done it. I use these back and forth now. And now that Bard is running Gemini Pro, the robustness and creativity and insight of it versus OpenAI, it's neck and neck right now. So um, it's definitely caught up with my many use cases and you should definitely check it out.